Hello guys, I welcome you back to Pac-Man World 3. It is I, Flareon 350, playing this terrific, wonderful game. Yeah. Um, basically in this part we're just progressing through the spectral realm, eating pack dots, all this stuff. I should point out this is like my ninth time attempting to narrate this. So, yeah. You don't know how frustrated I am with it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, excuse me, uh, monkey? Did I hear something, uh, tiny squeak? Yeah, yeah, the big red ghost gets himself all caged up, so the yellow fella gets the mock. Go on, then, monkey. Mock away. Aw, don't take it like that. It's not like I find it funny or anything, Clyde. Well, not much. Only a little. Are you okay, Clyde? Alright, that's it. I don't need rescuing. No, please. I'll take dignity over freedom any day. Aw, oh, you're just no fun. Hold on a sec, I'll be right there. Alright, after that little torment of Pac-Man and that ghost, that is Clyde, people. Um, the ghost we are in here to rescue. Which got locked up in the cage somehow. I don't understand how he got locked up, but he did. And uh, before we can go rescue him, we have to go this way. And uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier, this is like my ninth time narrating this. Uh, the first eight, or some odd, I don't know what, I don't even, I didn't even keep track. It's just I n tried to narrate it so much, I don't remember how many fails I did, including that one. But, um,. Yeah, like, bottom, uh, long story short, this is, no, like, yeah, my ninth time attempting it. So, I'm sorry if my narration sounds a little bit dull and everything else is just kind of, yeah, I don't know what, what's with it. But yeah, we gotta go save Clyde. We had to get that red crystal for right here. For this uh, pack dot machine, which will take us up to uh, some place to open the cage up. Well, not really open it, but yeah. <clears throat> All right. So before we can go anywhere else, let's eat these pack dots right here. Just to do it, since we're here, that's what we're playing this game for, believe it or not, yes, that's what we're doing. And yeah, this is the machine for Clyde, kind of, to summon Clyde, kind of like how Pinky did, Pinky's is. Just rev roll, and Clyde is freed from the cage, and now we can play as him, which means we saved him, which is freaking awesome. <laughs> and... Clyde's, as with Pinky, Clyde has has a, a power, and uh, that power of his is a lot is ten times more better than Pinky's gay power, which is a uh, he turns spectral creatures blue, which is actually useful because uh, yeah you got you get to actually kill things with Clyde and not Pinky, and yeah. But basically, you just press circle, and it, you, this is a supersonic type move, and it basically turns these creatures blue. And I can't believe I lost Clyde there. I usually, I, I've never lost Clyde in this part of the game before. But after you beat them all, Clyde has two powers actually. He has a second power, which is even better than the than his first power. So you press square, the supercharge, and it knocks over crap. Looks like you have your uses after all. Hey, let's get the munchie, okay? I like how you're talking and meditating, Pac-Man. It's now, just I don't mean nothing by it. Win. I'm just a little on edge, because my boys Inky and Blinky have gone AWOL, and I'm betting the freak that changed me up has them too. Right now, I'm just trying to get rid of some spectral siphon to stop this realm collapsing around our ears. <laughs> Ironically, Pac-Man doesn't have ears. Her, like her, her. I ain't seen nothing like that. Just a big old swirly thing. Okay, so get the blue crystal, and now we can 
go back down and uh, move onward in the realm. Yeah, basically what we have to do is we have to find uh, swir swirliness stuff. I don't even know what, what it's really meant for. Okay, there's a strawberry. Okay, so, um, yeah. Just because we, we uh, freed Clyde doesn't necessarily mean we're done with the level now. We have to move on. Sadly. But if you guys remember this place, this is where we saved, uh, Pinky at. Yeah. Well, not this spot, we just passed it, but... Yeah, that's where we saved Pinky at in the first Spectral Realm level. Pretty interesting to know that fact, but, yeah. Okay. Alright. So, we have bugs here, no surprise there. Alright. And we have a statue. And you can tell this is the same spot because where that statue is. That's where the yellow pack dot machine was at. In the first Spectrum level. And the first one didn't have this. We weren't allowed to come up this one. We, or we weren't up, like, we couldn't reach up here. So yeah. And you can totally tell where. Yeah, it's just, it's obvious. This is, a, this is like the main section of the Spectral Realm. The little room that leads to six different areas of the Spectral Realm. And wow, that, that was a fail. Why did I do that? That was not intentional. I just have to say that right now. It was not intentional, that was accidental. Because I fail at a uh, control. For the PlayStation 2, because I haven't played any PlayStation 2 games in like <laughs> so long. It's not even funny. Okay, so there's trophy number four out of five, and I already know where the last trophy's at, but we didn't pass it. It's like at the end, literally at the end of the level. So okay, so. This place has a different structure than uh, the um, what's it called? One in the first spectral realm level, the spectral cliffs. Different, a uh, little bit of a different layout. Um, they have these little blinker platform buttons and everything. It makes it a little bit more confusing and more frustrating to get through this place. And yeah, just getting pack dots. And yeah, so basically people, what, what we're still doing in the realm is to stop, break this machine that's, apparently there's a siphon in the spectral realm, which is kind of awkward in my opinion. But um, we have to b destroy it, because apparently there's swirliness going on, I don't know where, we just gotta follow the path and that basically takes us there. But um... Yeah, it's just yeah, I, I, it's just hard to explain. Oh crap! Almost died. Okay, good. Almost. All right. So okay, oh, there's a strawberry here. Okay, so this place is worth coming to. Get the strawberry. Alrighty. I'm starting to learn my fruits a little bit better now since, like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. I had to buy this game from GameStop just to do a playthrough of it. I said it before in some episode. I forget when, though. But yeah, I'm really, uh, determined to play this game, like, no matter what. I even got this, uh, um, capture card just for this game, uh, just to do it. So, yeah, I'm really determined to do play this game. And here we are at the end of the platform place. And there's a save machine right there, but I am not going to save because it, we're only at 9 minutes, so yeah, there's no point saving. Um, we'll just move on. You seem awfully fond of the Spectral Realm, Ors. I guess it looks different to ghosts. It looks different to everyone who comes here, Pac-Man. It reacts to expectation, you see. It's really a sea of potential, which is probably why it makes such a tempting target for that power over you. Yeah, I find it hard to believe a whole world is relied on uh, 
expectations. That just that that's just like if there was actually a world out there that did that, that you know how freaking awesome it'd be. I'd go go to that world and expect like money trees and freaking everything else. That'd just be so damn awesome. But yeah, like we like as always, there's another one of these spectral realm monster type mazes. And oh crap, there's a monster. And I got killed by I got hurt by it. I'm invisible for the win. Alright, so here you are. Oh, what the hell again? Every type of spectral realm level has these type sorts of mazes. And crap, I need to stop doing that. Alright, it's hard to eat all the pack dots and not get hurt. Okay, I got hurt again. Alright, hopefully we don't die because I can't afford a, a, a life. We haven't got an extra life in like so long, it's not even funny. Or at least that's what it feels like to me. But uh, yeah, so we just got we're just gonna eat these pack dots. Cause I mean look at the score. Look at our score. Fifth level and we have um, we're only we're almost halfway to a million points. It's just you can totally tell that the pack dots really do affect the score. Like dramatically. I mean, you, oh, they're only 10 points, so they don't affect the score at all. <laughs> yeah, they do. There's so many packed ups in this game, it's just... I can't imagine how Pac-Man feels about eating all this stuff. That just, he must have to go to the bathroom a lot later on. Which, that would be a funny ending of this, of this game, but that doesn't happen. <laughs> like, him in the bathroom for, like, hours at a time. That would just be freaking... I'd roll on the floor laughing. That's just... That's just... That's just... That's just yeah, that's just hell of funny. Okay, anyway, but, um, not talking about stuff like that. Okay, now we have time keys since we ate all the spectral monsters. And, uh, I love how there's waterfalls of spectral... Goo, whatever the heck you want to call it. Spectral realm lava. Even though it's not, not really called lava. Hmm. Okay, there's an orange. We're at, we have six out of seven fruits, which basically tells us we are getting close to the end of the level. <coughs> and uh, those keys didn't even do a thing. I think all they did was make that make the, that wheel spin. I don't know. That's weird. All right, now we gotta go that this way and. Uh, Basically, kill bugs because Pac Man's the world famous exterminator. And, uh, hit, get more time keys. Cool. Get that one, and this one, and this one. Awesome. And this should make these, uh, circle things, yeah, do their thing. Go, like, flying all over the place. And, uh, going on those little. Uh, mountain top, those sharp edges of mountains, and whatever you want to call them, I can't explain what they're called. But these bee doings right here, they just lead to a shortcut, which is pretty cool, I guess. If you haven't noticed, I am talking a lot in this episode because uh, the microphone is like acting up for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with it, but if every time I don't talk for a long period of time, it'll cancel out the narration and randomly stop. And I don't want that to happen. Okay, so there's the watermelon. And here's the final doorway. So epic, isn't it? Not really, though. Okay, guys, there's that machine Wait, right there. And more epic stuff is going to happen next episode. I'll see you guys then.